Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Many blessings to you all. Uh, remember the best way to enjoy free YouTube readings is to understand that they are general and you need to be using discernment. So take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Not every message is meant for you. Okay, we are a collective and your reader will pick up on multiple energies and storylines because we are reading for multiple people. So most of my readings are timeless and I could be picking up on the past, present, or future. Please also remember that energy is interchangeable. So flip the messages around to suit your situation if needed. If you need to contact me for my services, my website is magdalenscraft.com. Although I have been busy and because of the holidays, I am going to be taking some days off. So just do keep that in mind. Um, all right. So this is going to be a timeless charm board reading. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, so we're going to do that. I didn't know what to do for the pick a card um, options or whatever. And I had recently went shopping at Ulta. So we're just going to, I'm going to show you guys the products and you use your intuition to pick which pile okay so for pile number one you guys are this gonna going to be lime crime wet cherry and the color disco cherry so disco cherry is just a clear glitter so the clear glitter lip gloss for pile number one Pile number two, I think you pronounce this Laneige. I could be wrong, okay? I'm very new to the hype on this stuff, which I must say the hype is real. I never want to go back to chapstick or anything now. Like, this stuff really is the holy grail, and I see why people have been talking about it so much. But this is a lip sleeping mask and the scent gummy bear. So the gummy bear lip sleeping mask for pile number two. And pile number three is a wet cherry clear lip gloss. It's very similar to pile one, except it doesn't have the glitter, it doesn't have the shimmer. And this is in the shade Extra Poppin'. So Extra Poppin' is just a clear lip gloss, okay, for pile number three. So this is pile one with the glitter for pile one. Pile two is the Gummy Bear Sleep Mask, and pile number three will be the Clear Lip Gloss from Lime Crime. So go ahead and choose which object you feel most intuitively drawn to, and we will go ahead and get to your Timeless Charm Board reading. All right, welcome number ones. If you chose the Wet Cherry uh, Lime Crime Lip Gloss in the shade Disco Cherry, uh, this is going to be your Charm Board reading. It is Timeless, so let's see what comes out. For call number one, Right. Let's see, pile number one. So this is already kind of interesting because you have one of the commandments, okay? It says, thou shall not kill. I don't think you guys can read that, but it says, thou shall not kill. And it's in between home and travel. And you also have a crab um, on the home section as well. So some of you, you could be a cancer or you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, cancer is also symbolic for your, your home life as well. So it could just be coming out as a symbol of something going on in your home life or your family life. Um, or I could be speaking to a cancer or you could be dealing with a cancer. But it says, thou shall not kill. You guys, and it's, it's in between the home and travel. Ishtar is upside down and in between travel and friendship. Okay, for some of you, um, for someone very, very specific, okay, this message is not for everyone because it is extreme. It is a dramatic message. But for, some, for someone very specific, there could have been someone who's a cancer in your family and they could have gotten away with murder or some, I don't know, somebody's family member, okay, they don't have to be a cancer, but somebody's fam family member has 
gotten away with murder or they are trying to get away with murder and that's why they travel a lot um, so some of you could have a family member that travels a lot or they relocate a lot or they moved long distance or something like that and the reason why is because for someone very specific they are trying to get away with some sort of murder um, I'm also seeing you, where you guys, there's someone like trying to anchor down some sort of friendship with you. Um, someone's either trying to build a French, like a friend with benefits type of situation. Or this is like a female wanting to be like a friend of yours if you're a female. But if this is a man trying to be a friend with you, they're trying to be like friends with benefits. Um, someone's also trying to trick you out of some sort of, like, trick you or manipulate you or fool you or something like that when it comes to your leadership role or leadership position or something about your power, your leadership, your authority, your success. Um, they, they want you to, like, fall on your face. There's someone around you that, like, wants you to fall on your face with these things or they want, they want this to end for you. So for some of you, the reason why this thou shall not kill commandment came out, I mean, maybe for someone specific, you do have a family member trying to get away with murder, but for others of you, it's like there, you guys, you have a friend around you. There is a friend around you that wants to put some sort of ending to your status or your position in life. This could be a job position. Um, this could just be like a popularity type of thing. I don't know, but someone is like they're wanting you to fall on your face. And they're trying to like, I'm channeling like the shadow side of fairies, okay? Because we have a little Tinkerbell above Ishtar over here. And Ishtar is like falling on her face. I feel like like the shadow side of fairies can be manipulative. It could be a trickster type of energy, um, and I really feel like there, you guys, you have a, and it's, this is on the friendship section and we also have a charm that I connect with female energy. So I feel like you guys, you have a female friend that wants you to like fall on your face or they want you to lose your leadership, your, your position, your authority, your power, your success, something weird like that. Um, for others of you, I'm seeing someone trying to be friends with benefits, okay? Um, honestly, it could be a man or a woman, okay? This could be a woman that's, like, bisexual or lesbian. Um, or if you're a man watching this, you know, it could be a straight woman. I don't know, but I, I do feel like there's also somebody that's trying to be, like, friends with benefits with you. We have star, pentagram on self. It is upside down we have seashell we have a car that has knocked over on self someone wants you to feel like a car wreck okay when it comes to your self-image or your aesthetic or your physical appearance okay the way you look somebody wants you to look like a complete car wreck and it could be this fake friend of yours for someone very specific, if you had a family member that tried to get away with murder or they did get away with murder, it, there, it could have been a car, something to do with a car could have been involved. Or maybe even a horse, something about a car or a horse. And now I'm channeling the chariot card for some reason from Tarot. Or someone here could have had a family that has horses or ride, goes horseback riding or plays polo or something. I don't know. Um, also with the self side, with the seashell, you guys are giving me like Little Mermaid vibes as well. You're giving me like siren type of energy. So a lot of people view you as some sort of siren. Um, and I feel like you're doing something different too with that star upside down. Like you're doing something different or there's something unique about you. There's something, and it's, it draws people in with this siren energy. And that's why you guys, you have a family member or a fake friend that's like wanting your image or your appearance to be some sort of car wreck. They want you to look like a hot mess, pretty much. 
Um, we have a bell that's in between work and family, and the horse is between work and family. Some of you, I'm hearing work horse. Okay, some of you are a work horse. Some of you could work for your family, or you could have family that's trying to work for you. I'm hearing ring the alarm. Okay, some of you, you don't need to be working with family. Whether it's you working for family or family working for you, Spirit is saying that there's some sort of alarm ringing off in your head or like a red flag or something and you need to listen to that. Some of y'all do not need to be working with your family. Um, for someone very specific, if you have a family member that is a horse in Chinese Zodiac, you need to be paying attention to the red flags when it comes to them. So if some of you have a family member that is a horse in Chinese Zodiac that is trying to come towards you or has come towards you in the past, you need to be paying attention to whatever red flag you've seen or heard or felt when it came to this person. I'm also seeing where I think the reason why I'm channeling workhorse as well, like you guys are a complete workhorse uh, because it's it's in between work and family. So you guys, you're very independent. Okay, a lot of you have broke free from family. Um, you had to endure a lot with your family or you had to endure a lot when it came to breaking free from your family. Um, you, ha you have a lot of triumph whether that's your past, present, or future, but there's a lot of triumph about you. Um, there's a lot of, you're, a lot of you are focused on being independent, okay? You don't want to be codependent. You want to be independent. You don't want to have to rely on your family or have to ask them for things. Um, for others of you, this is coming out as a sign of competition, okay? So some of you may have a family member that's trying to compete with you in the workplace for someone very specific. Um, they could be doing this to try to get your attention here. Also, seashells are a symbol of eternal life, and it came out on the self um, section. So something about you, I'm hearing timeless beauty, okay, whether you're a man or a woman watching this, there's something about your style or your appearance that's very timeless. It's very, it feels eternal. Um, something about like immortality or youthfulness is something I'm channeling as well. I'm also hearing for someone uh, very specific, like there's a certain a man or men in general would like die for you with the seashell card. So I don't know, some of you may have a man in your life that would die for you or men in general would die for you. Um, I'm also channeling a mini me. So somebody could be having a child or getting pregnant or if you don't, you know, if you're fertile at this time and you don't want to get pregnant, make sure you are using protection. Because I am channeling, I heard a mini me with the seashell. Um, because sometimes the seashells can be viewed as a source of life. Um, or being connect to, connected to like living things. And I, I was hearing, and it's also connected to like birth and fertility. So I heard mini me. So just be careful of that if you're trying to not get pregnant. Um, for, for someone very specific, it's getting, someone may end up getting knocked up by a friend with benefits. Okay. Some of you could be fooling around, playing around with a friend with benefits, and that's the person you're going to get knocked up with if you don't use protection. Um, or some of you may have already gotten knocked up by someone that's a friend with benefits. I don't know. That that message isn't for everyone, though. <laughs> I am seeing also where if you are, like, playing around with someone that is a friend with benefits type of situation, they are wanting to move things to the next like stage or maybe this is you but I'm seeing where a friendship is developing into more of a commitment here for someone specific also for someone very specific I'm seeing someone's sister manipulating you someone has a sister that's trying to manipulate or trick you uh, because they cause some sort of ending for you or you didn't something didn't happen for you or something ended for you or something weird like that or you didn't get something i don't know it has something to do with a sister for some of you and for others of you it had to do with a fake friend um or a competitive family member um but that's everything i'm seeing for pile one i love you guys so much if it resonated be sure to like comment subscribe it helps out the channel and we are going to move on to pile number two Welcome, pile number twos. If you guys chose the gummy bear sleeping mask this is going to be your timeless reading 
um, or I should say timeless charm board reading. Okay, so let's see what comes out. Okay, with the charm board readings, literally anything can come out. So let's see what's going on. For pal number two, please, spirit, show us what pal number two needs to know. Okay. What is this? Thou shall not steal, okay, between travel and home. Okay, someone around you thinks you have a beautiful home, um, or they think you have a beautiful life. Okay, either they feel like you have a beautiful home, or they feel like you have a beautiful life. Um, be careful of someone trying to steal from you while you travel or go somewhere, whether it's you traveling, going on a road trip, going on vacation, even if it's you just leaving your house for a few hours and coming home, I don't know. I'm seeing where there's someone that may want to try to steal from your house because they feel like you have a beautiful home, beautiful property, or they feel like you just have some sort of beautiful life. Um, let's see what's going on. Interesting. I don't know why I'm channeling the the board game operate. Okay, there's there's like a little cross crucifix down here on the finances, and then there's like a wishbone. But it made me think of um it looks like it is trying to like pluck out the cross. I don't know. I feel like somebody like okay, thank you. I'm hearing um for some of you there's something that is supposed to be for you when it comes to money or finances, it's like you were blessed by the universe when it came to uh, money or finances. And somebody from your workplace is trying to steal this from you. So I don't know, for others of you, there's someone like trying to steal from your home while you're away. And for others of you, there's somebody like trying, I'm hearing pickpocket somebody at work. Um. Be careful of someone trying to like pickpocket you at work or steal your money at work. For others of you, this is somebody, I know she's writing, like this could be somebody that's like stealing, um, copying your work or stealing your work or something, plagiarizing your work. I don't know, something like that because they're trying to take some sort of money that the universe is blessing you with. It's like they're trying to take it for themselves here. Um, they, they've, I'm hearing they want a lucky break with this wishbone, okay? Um, this is somebody, they, they're ready for their lucky break is what I'm hearing. So that's why they're doing this. And what's interesting is after, I, dude, there's a freaking four-leaf clover that's upside down. Whoever's trying to steal from you guys, whether it's stealing from your home or stealing from you at work or stealing your literal, your literal work, um, this is not going to go in their favor, I'm also hearing a return to sender. Okay, so this is something that's happened in the past. This person could be getting hit with a return to sender currently. Um, for others of you, if this hasn't happened yet, I do feel like this is something, this type, whatever they're doing is going to be returned to them. Okay, and someone may try to steal something from them. Either way, like, their luck is not on this person's side. Like, this person is wanting to rob or steal or plagiarize or something weird like that because they want, I'm hearing, a lucky break, but they're about to have a very unlucky situation happen to them for doing this to you, okay? Um, I, this person's love life is a, a complete wreck. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a dove. Okay. Interesting. And letters upside down as well. This could be, for some of you, this is somebody that was trying to steal your mail. Or they are trying to plan to steal your mail or packages or something like that. Um, for some of you, this could be a friend of yours. Like a fake friend. Or this is a friend that you recently reconciled with. Um, or this is somebody that's going to come in and try to reconcile with you after they've tried stealing from you or copying you or something. They're going to try to reconcile with you afterwards. Um, so I, I'm getting different messages for different people. What is this commandment down here? Thou shall not commit adultery self with Ishtar upside down. 
for someone very specific, whoever tried to steal something from you or copy something from you, um, something's going to... So something's going to be exposed about this person when it comes to adultery. I don't know if this person has cheated, whether they've cheated or they're being cheated on and it gets exposed. Or if this person has like nude photos or something that could get le like leaked or exposed publicly or shared around or something. I don't know, but this person could be getting exposed for some sort of adultery. Whether it's them doing it or their person doing it. Um, also, you guys, I'm seeing if you're doing something with family, it's bringing you a lot of luck. Okay. I'm seeing where you're attracting a lot of luck or something or maybe even money. And it's because... The, the reason why you're attracting money and luck is because the universe is giving you these things because, I mean, not it's obviously because you work for these things as well, but the universe is allowing, you know, this to continue or to happen because they want you to spend your money on your family. You guys, you could have a child or children. You could have a niece or nephew or something or little cousins or something you know and it's like the reason why you're pulling in a lot of luck or money it's it's because it's supposed to be spent on these these kids or this child or something along those lines I, i'm picking up on family but it's like children or babies or something um so a lot of you um you're meant to help children in your family and that's why you're being blessed with like good job opportunities or raises or promotions or something like that or customers or clients is because you're meant to help um, the younger people in your family. OK, for some of you, um, for others of you, it's so that you can start your own family and be a provider of your own family. Um, or some of you could already be a provider of your family. Either way, you're being blessed so that it can trickle down onto the younger family members here. Um, sorry, that's a, like a side message for someone. Yeah, there's there's definitely someone that has tried stealing from you or copying you or taking something of yours, whether it's something at the workplace, something within your home. And this person's getting effed up. They're getting effed up. And some of you, you could have done a return to sender and they could be getting hit by that. I'm hearing it's really affecting their love life. Like it's, it's, it's a messy. It is completely messing up their love life. And this may be something that ends up being public or if it's not like super public, it's definitely being gossiped about maybe like locally or something. But this person, it's like an 18 wheeler just completely ran over this person's love life because they tried to, for some of you, they try to be a home wrecker. Okay. This could have been someone that tried to break up your family life or break up your marriage and now their love life is messed up. I don't, that, that could definitely resonate for someone. Uh, but for others of you, they were trying to steal something out of your home or they were trying to, I don't know why I keep hearing pickpocket for someone. Um, for someone specific, they were trying to steal, like, your clothes or they were going through, like, your purses in your house or something. Um, for others of you, this is somebody, like, stealing your work or plagiarizing your work at your job. Um, someone, at, someone at your work could have even pretended to be you for someone very specific. Someone at your job could have pretended to be you for whatever weird reason. Um... That's everything I'm seeing. I'm also seeing where there's a friend trying to message you, but you're not getting the message, okay? I know a lot of times with social media, like, if you're not, like, friends with somebody or if you're not, like, following them and someone sends you a message, it gets, like, sent to some folder that, you know, you don't even get notified about. So for some of you, you have a friend that's trying to reach out to you, but you're not, like, receiving the message or getting the message. Um, and this is somebody that's trying to reconcile with you. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but someone here may need to check like their, I don't know, their spam folders or that, that little ghost folder that they just put people in if they feel like 
you know, they're a bot or there's someone trying to mess with you or whatever. I don't know. I know Facebook and Instagram does that with messages or like with the folders and stuff. I'm, I think Twitter does it too. But that's everything I'm seeing for Paul 2, you guys. If you enjoyed the reading or if you felt like it resonated, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, it does help out the channel. And we are going to move on to pile number three. All right, welcome pile number threes. If you chose the Wet Cherry Lime Crime Lip Gloss in the shade Extra Poppin, this is going to be your Timeless Charm Board reading. So let's see what comes out for pile number three. Let's see, poll number three. Ooh, you guys got the Egypt charm. I don't think this one has ever came out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's on your finances too. Some of you could work with um, like Cleopatra, Isis, Bastet, Sekhmet. Um, you could be working with some sort of Egyptian goddess here, deity, energy, something from Egypt. Um, and it's something, it's like blessing your finances here currently or in the future. Let's see, we have a little mouse at work. So something about, something about like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like you keeping yourself small is like benefiting you. Something about you being to yourself at work is going to benefit you fi financially. So, okay. So, I'm getting different scenarios. You guys, not only are you being blessed with finances due to some sort of Egyptian energy here. Um, some of you are, some of you may have even had a past life in Egypt and something about the money you had in that past life. Maybe you had a lot of money in that past life. And the universe is trying to, like, open up the floodgates for you to kind of, like, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of, like, reincarnating, but it's, like, your money is being reincarnated back into your life in a way. It's weird. I don't know. Um, I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, that may, that may not be for everyone, but I am seeing where you guys, you being quiet at work is going to benefit you or you keeping to yourself, staying in your own lane, minding your own business at work is going to benefit you. Um, if you are, I'm hearing if you're in the entertainment industry, something about you being underground or you being a smaller artist or something is actually going to be beneficial to you. I don't know, something about you being quiet or just to yourself or something about you being small um, is actually going to be more beneficial to you than you realize. Um, or it is currently more beneficial to you than you realize. I'm also seeing a diamond ring on finances, okay? You guys really do have some sort of huge money coming in. Some of you could be born in April because diamond is the birth, uh, the birth stone for April here. I feel like, I'm not kidding, I feel like you guys were really rich in a past life. And I, I don't know why I keep getting this energy of, like, you're about to receive the money you used to have. Uh, we have Barbie, but it was upside down on home. So, you guys, you could be struggling or, you know, at some point in your life you were. I feel like it's your past or your present, but you've been struggling or you were struggling at one point. Um, your life is about to completely change. It's, it's almost like the universe didn't want you to have this huge blessing when it came to finances yet. I don't know. It's almost like you guys were meant to learn a certain lesson or either you had to learn lessons or you had to be a lesson to someone else. Because sometimes we have to be a lesson for other people and we have to struggle in order to be that lesson for other people as well. So some of you, you had to learn lessons and you also had to be a lesson to other people. Um, you know, it could be one or the other or both. And I'm seeing where like it's affected your home life. Like you guys, you could have moved a lot. Some of you could have been homeless. Some of you could have, you know, lived in very poor conditions. 
um, or that is your situation now. But I mean, that it's about to change completely. You have this giant e Egyptian goddess charm on finances. You have the diamond ring on finances. You have a freaking gold and diamond stiletto shoe in between travel and friendship. Some of you, you're about to have a really good business partner or a really good job opportunity, job offer. Um, this could even be a sponsorship for someone here. Um, a contract, something, but you guys, I'm hearing making it big for someone, for someone very, for someone very specific, be careful traveling out of the country if you're a woman, okay, I don't know who needs to hear that, but if you're a woman and you're, tr you're debating on traveling out of the country, I'm hearing to be careful to do that at this time, um, uh, I don't like the energy I'm picking up on that. So I'm hearing if you're a woman, try not to travel in high crime places or dangerous places or, you know, like third world country type of places. Like now's not the time to be traveling as a woman is what I'm hearing. Um, we have on the friendship, we also have this like Will Barrel. Yeah, there's someone, for someone very specific, there could be someone that offers you a job or an opportunity or some sort of money or something but you have to travel to do it but I'm hearing to be careful or not to do it if it's in a dangerous place or a dangerous country um I don't know who that's for but but I'm also seeing for most of you though I'm seeing um you know friendships turning into business partnerships or some of you could be starting a business with a friend or signing a contract or something when it comes to business. Others of you, you're going to be getting some sort of like promotion or job opportunity. A lot of you, if you have your own business, I'm seeing a lot of uh, clients, customers, um, but it does mean that you have to work a lot. You have to work hard. You have to work a lot in order to maintain these clients and customers. Um, your love life, not looking so good, not gonna lie. I'm hearing dust yourself off and try again. That's a freaking Aaliyah song. Okay, someone here may listen to Aaliyah, but that song, uh, dust yourself up, or dust yourself off and try again. I think the song is literally called Try Again. I can't remember. It was a song from the 90s, but some of you, you feel like you've fallen off the horse when it comes to love, but you need to get back up, dust yourself off and try again, okay? Um, the self- you feel like you're manifesting slowly when it comes to your image or appearance. Okay. If you are, if some, okay, some of you are seeing red flags within yourself as well. Okay. If you're man, if you're trying to manifest anything in general, whether it's your appearance or not, it, this could be you trying to manifest literally anything in life. Something about you've got to see the red flags within yourself. Some of you could be self-sabotaging your own manifestations, um, which I feel crazy even saying that because the finance section is like blowing my mind, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe some of you, you have a, a like you haven't unlocked the key to this money or finances because you're self-sabotaging yourself. Um, for others of you, you already have the key to this finances, but it could be greater. It could be more if you didn't do something that's self-sabotaging. For some of you, it's like a family member, okay? A family member could be getting you to sabotage yourself. Um, or a family member could be trying to sabotage you in general. So be careful of that. They, they could be the one. If it's not you blocking your own manifestations, it's definitely a family member doing it. So for some of you, if it's not you, okay, or let me backtrack. If it is you, say you cut something out, say you saw a red flag within yourself and you're like, I need to cut this out or I need to change this. And you did that. You changed whatever it is. You cut whatever it is out. And then you noticed your finances started doing better. Your money started doing better. For others of you, you could have cut out a family member or you could have walked away from your family in general and you notice your money started doing better. Your finances started doing better. Either way, you or a family member was holding this money back. Or it could have been both. Um, but I feel like you're realizing that your money is doing better because of you 
walking away from family or walking away from something that you were doing to yourself. Um, for others of you, you have not unlocked this huge amount of income yet because of the fact you're self-sabotaging or a family member is sabotaging you. Um, but that's everything I'm seeing for Pile 3. If you enjoyed the reading or if you felt like it resonated, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.